How's it going everybody? World Money Wins here. Welcome or welcome back. Let me see if this light helps. I don't know if it's made it worse or better. I got another great question from Bradley Osborne. He's asked a question before that I've made a video about, I believe. I could be wrong. I can't remember. Um, anyway, his comment is, uh, he replied to my 5 gram gold bar, um, where I also featured a uh, Israeli IDF um, handgun that was retired. Um, he said, you have to keep us updated when new hand carries, Second Amendment pew pew pews, come out that are good deals, such as the Jericho that I bought. I mean, a lot of times when you buy these uh, oh, curio and relic handguns or old and, you know, vintage handguns, when they were first released on the market, that's when they're the cheapest. When the supply dries up, then the prices shoot up. The HK P7, I used to buy those for $400. If you go online, try and purchase a used, beat up HK P7. You can't get them for 400 bucks. You'll be lucky to get them for under $2,000 now. But they were all day long, 400 bucks. As many as you could buy. Um, but he also, um, he's doing the Fractional Gold Fiesta. He's five months in, going on six. Um, he said he hasn't seen much at the local coin shop. Uh, but let's see. Uh, so he may tr have to try this online bullion store for buying instead of the local coin shop because it hasn't had that much. Um, any suggestions for online bullion? Um, I know you buy, but what's your ultimate top five if you care to share? So I guess my top five would be um, bullion exchanges, hero bullion, monument metals, I lost track. Bold, precious metals, and now I can't think of a fifth. Wait, maybe you guys could post down your favorites. Hero, bullion exchanges, um, monument metals, bold, precious metals, hero, bullion exchanges, monument, bold, precious metals, and I know there's so many. I mean, there's. I used to buy a lot from SD Bullion, but they got expensive, and that that comes as your as your company grows, you have to hire more people, and therefore your prices have to go up. JM Bullion used to be the the one of the biggest, the best deals around, but again, they got popular. They had really good customer service. They hired more people, increased their costs, overhead, so the prices have to go up. So. I would just do four, at least right off the top of my head, because there's SD Bullion, JM Bullion, Atmex, any reputable ones. And actually, let me look here. If you go to a website called findbullionprices.com, um, I'm just going to see what I'm missing. Um, let's just go for one ounce gold bars. Um, there's Money Metals Exchange. I think uh, if you go to Constitutional Stacker, I think he's got a, an affiliate link to Money Metals Exchange. So if you want to buy from them, I would just go to Constitutional Stacker's channel and click on his thing. But App Appmex, but Appmex and JM and <clears throat> SD Bullion are going to be a little bit more expensive. So the best deals I find are places like this. One thing I do um, want to make though is sometimes you can go to places like the coin guy. If you go to Spectacular, the Silver Stacular, he's always in the coin guy shop. And actually, this piece here, I bought from the coin guy. That's how I got the stickers. And uh, oh, there's also Kazu Bullion. They have good deals. Like this 20 ounce bar, this was a really good deal. I really like this bar. Um, one thing I do want to note is normally I don't buy 90% silver or constitutional silver from uh, online bullion dealers because I like to hand select them myself but that's see this one's kind of slick on the back side but I contradict myself there was a good deal on uh, um, a 
ten dollar face value so I, I bought a roll of quarters normally I don't do that normally I'll go into the coin shop if I want to buy constitutional silver because I want to hand select the ones that have the most detail the prettiest ones have literally more silver um, and I guess if you're if you're buying from a coin shop that that sells you constitutional silver based on weight then it doesn't matter um, First Mint also has a new mint. Um, their stuff isn't as cheap as some of the others I had mentioned. And their their capsules often crack when I drop them. <laughs> Actually, they've never cra I've never cracked one of their capsules, but I do drop their stuff quite often because I like showing it on the channel. So this is uh, silver that you're buying directly from the people that pull it out out of the ground. First Mint is a subsidiary of First Majestic. Um, what else? Actually, look, check down in the comments of this video, um, because you guys will obviously post up your favorite, um, online bullion dealer, and it'll probably be one that I forgot all about. Um, anyway, I guess that's it. And if I do, actually, if I do find a good deal on, uh, any, um, surplus handguns that come in to the country, or if I find any deals, I haven't looked in quite a while, I've been mainly focusing on this stuff um, but if I find any good deals on on surplus handguns I'll, I'll I'll give a heads up or I'll try to give a heads up I remember I used to buy uh, Mosin Nagant rifles if you've ever seen the movie Enemy at the Gates there's nothing better than watching the movie Enemy at the Gates while holding a a Mosin Nagant 9130, the actual bolt action rifles that they used in that movie. It's so cool to watch that movie with, with actually a period rifle that they used. And some people might want to hold a Mauser because they're fans of the uh, the counter sniper or whatever. But it's a good time. So like the Mosin Nagants, I used to buy those for $69 a piece. And I actually, let me look, how much are they right now? Um, Mosin 9130. Oh, $349. <laughs> so I was buying those for $69 each. And also SKSs. I used to buy those for Russian. Russian SKSs I used to buy for $69 a piece. And they were brand new. They were um, never issued. And so now the Russian ones are eight or nine hundred bucks, sometimes twelve hundred bucks. So it's always good to buy the things while they're available and popular and nobody gives a crap about them. Same with ammo. If you if you like shooting, right now is the perfect time to buy ammo. It's pennies on the dollar. It's just super cheap. And it, it's going to go up. It, it always does. It goes in cycles. It gets super expensive. Then everybody starts panic buying it at like a dollar a round. Why not just buy it when it's like 25 cents a round? And if you... You can actually just resell it. Sell it for a buck around if you want. Um, or if you want to be a good friend to your friends, you buy uh, several cases at 25 cents around, then what goes up to a buck around say, hey bud, I'm gonna hook you up. I'll sell it to you for 75 cents around. And they'll be they'll be absolutely stoked and you're they'll be super happy for getting it for 25 percent cheaper than they can get anywhere else. And you triple your money. Anyway, if you don't want to be on the bad end of that deal, buy it now when it's cheap. Just buy it now, because otherwise you're going to be one of those people that are whining and complaining, these people are price gouging, it's so expensive, capitalism sucks. Well, buy it for 25 cents around now. Don't wait till later and just whine like a baby, because that's what you sound like when you're whining like a baby about ammo prices. Anyway, that's it. I'm done with my little rant. And uh, thank you so much for the question, Bradley Osborne. Hopefully that helps. Post down below your favorite online dealer and we can uh, share the info. Everybody's helping each other out. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Later.